Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Zach the Purdue Fan here, uh, coming at you here on YouTube today with another video. Uh, today I'll be doing a preview and prediction for uh, this afternoon's uh, Purdue football game between the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the Purdue Boilermakers. Um, I also want to talk about uh, the basketball team uh, a little bit. Uh, they uh, ended up losing to Clemson in the championship at the Space Coast uh, Classic or Tournament, whatever. Um, Jaden Ivey was out. Eric Hunter still not playing. Um, supposedly, it's nothing serious for Jaden Ivey. He's uh, likely going to uh, recover. But uh, Hunter is still battling a, a bone fracture in one of his knees. But um, basically, in that game, it was just a bunch of turnovers and bad defense. Clemson, a very physical team, a team that'll pressure the ball a lot. And uh, we didn't handle it. You know, we got a, lo a lot of young guys uh, handling the ball, playing point guard for the Bullet But anyways, let's talk about uh, the actual what we're actually doing today in this video. But he was playing Rutgers. Um, Rutgers, a one-win team. That only win coming off of, uh, against... Um, Michigan State, who is a dumpster fire of a football team this year, uh, the first year under Mel Tucker. Michigan State will be better. Just, uh, Mel, Mel Tucker just needs to get some experience in East Lansing under his belt, and I think Sparty will be fine. But anyways, the defense for the Boilermakers, I think, will be tested once again. Um, Rutgers has a pretty good quarterback and a pretty good wide receiver. Um, Vedral's the quarterback. He's wearing number zero and right for the Scarlet Knights today. Um, I can't think of the name of a receiver. I gotta, I gotta be more prepared when I record these videos. But um, yeah, Rutgers is uh, one and four. They lost an o a heartbreaker in overtime to the Michigan Wolverines last week um, at home. Uh, um, you know, M Michigan not very good of a team this year. Um, a team that really does, seems like they don't want to play. Um, been watching a little bit of Michigan this year. They recently just benched uh, Joe Milton. Uh, McNamara is now under center for the Wolverines, but. Um, Rutgers, definitely a team that uh, you don't want to overlook. Um, uh, Purdue, I think, is uh, two touchdown favorites um, in this game. And um, Jack Plummer will be under center for the Boilermakers again. Um, he will be getting the started quarterback. Um, looked absolutely amazing last week against the Gophers. And by the way... Big Ten refs suck. Um, anyways, but that's besides the point. Um... That's neither here or there um, in terms of this video. But um, I do expect um, a good performance of the Boilermakers today. I, if, if we want to win this game, the defense, especially the secondary, has to play really good today. Um, George Karloftis, um, he's on a 21-day quarantine according to the Big Ten rules due to testing positive for the coronavirus. He is in isolation in his home in West Lafayette. Um, but he's going to be out for three weeks and possibly not able to play um, until um, a bowl game. Also, it looks like Demarcus Mitchell is hurt again, barely played against Minnesota uh, last Friday. Um, I really don't know what's up with him. I haven't seen anything on why he's out, but um, our two best defensive players out today, uh, George Karloftis uh, testing positive for the coronavirus and also Demarcus Mitchell some injured in some way i just haven't seen anything on what his actual injury is but um i do expect a good performance out of the out of the boilermakers today rutgers not the best defense and especially with purdue i think they got their guy at quarterback you know aiden o'connell i really wasn't pleased with how he was playing you know he's he, he's not he really wasn't making some accurate throws his decision making has been very shaky especially is what we saw against northwestern um i i really do think uh jack Plummer is the guy um well i think xander horvath will have a good game today uh, hopefully, I get to see some. We get to see some King Doru too. We saw a little bit of him against Northwestern. Uh, not a lot against um, uh, Minnesota. Yeah, more than more than Northwestern. Though. He's coming off an injury of some sort. Um, Rondale Moore. Uh, I I think he's active. I haven't seen anything that he's out. So it looks like uh, he's uh, good to go again. David Bell. We know he's healthy. No issues there. Um, but. The, the defense really needs to play well today. That's been the struggles for this whole Purdue football team. Um, you know, the defense has been the problem. 
as we saw in the Minnesota game. But Minnesota, they got a good offense. They got uh, Tana Morgan, um, uh, Bell, I think, was one of them. Um, Shot Bateman, of course, who has opted out the rest of the season, and Muhammad Ibrahim. But um, if I had to um, pick pick a score i think purdue win by two touchdowns like 38 to 24 that's my prediction i, I you know rutgers not the best team but definitely a team you cannot overlook um like i said again i think the offense will have a good day rutgers not having the best defense um but rutgers the offense is their strong suit greg Schiano is back uh, at the helm for the for uh, rutgers um he's really turned the program around you know the one and four record it looks very dis you know, Rutgers is better than 1-4. and four. They beat Michigan State, lost to Michigan, lost uh, to uh, Ohio State. Um, I forgot who the other... I don't know who the other two losses uh, are against. Uh, I'll have to look into it. But 38-24 um, to 24 is my prediction. I think the offense is going to have a good day. Defense needs to step up. Um, watch out for number zero in white for the Scarlet Knights today. Uh, Noah, Nick or Noah Vedral. Uh, he's, he's their quarterback. He's, he's not bad. He's not bad. But um, I will be doing a live stream today. I'm looking to start at um, 20, 25, 20 to 15 minutes uh, before kickoff. Um, I have it set to start at 2.35. Uh, my time, that would be 3.35 for you folks that live in the Eastern time zone. The game starts at uh, 4 o'clock Eastern, um, 3 o'clock Central time. It'll be on Fox Sports 1. So um, hopefully many of you... Uh, can watch uh, today's game between the Boilermakers and the Scarlet Knights. Like I said, I will be doing a live stream, and uh, I will see you guys then. My prediction, 38-24 to in favor of Purdue. We will see you guys at the live stream. Boiler up.